Hi there, everyone. Nice to have you along with us once again. We're at the Riverside Stadium. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. Middlesbrough against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. Three in his last three games. That's top class from the striker. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Jack Butland starts in goal. Daniel Ayala starts with Dale Fry in defence. And they're going to go with one striker up front. the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, Thank you're you. going to lose it in dangerous areas. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. On the attack here, Fletcher. Wolves have gone and won it back again. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Jimenez. Oh, that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Alan McAnally back at Villa Park. He's got some news for us. It's a goal for Aston Villa. Seven minutes played, 1-0. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Fletcher. And now Wolves in possession. Jimenez. Jean Moutinho, Ivan Rakitic. That would be a throw. Cuts it out nicely. Tackle goes in. Fletcher. Joao Plata. He might have put his teammate in here. Can he set himself now? How has he kept that one out? His reactions there were sensational. In goes the corner. There's still danger here after this half clearance. A chance to break away now on the counter. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. In he went with a slide tackle. He's taking his team's uh, life into his own right foot then. Joao Plata. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. We can hear now from Alan McAnally at Vicarage Road, and there's been a goal, Alan. It's a goal for Watford. 25 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. The cross dealt with by the defender. Ivan Rakitic tries the shot. It's no real test of Butland's abilities there. Here's McNair. Fletcher. Saw that coming and intercepted.
With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Oh, he's through. Comes out of the goalkeeper. A bit of relief amongst the crowd, but now urging their players, demanding more, a higher standard of football. Keep conceding chances like this. They... He might be through. Real chance now. How about that for a goal? It's given them the breakthrough. And they've had to work very hard to find a way through this defence. But when it came, it was superbly taken. And they're absolutely thrilled with the way they've got the lead here. Clean pair of heels to the opposition and a very clean finish at the end of it. Well, they could only stop and stare because he's one of the quickest players around. One of the best finishers, too. It's Middlesbrough in front. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Now, I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession, but you can see the manager down there is let guided through. Taken an opportunity to exert that old cliche, the opposition more vulnerable when they've just scored, they've just scored and now they've just conceded. Well, they have, and it's difficult to predict which way this game will go now. So, away we go at one all. Chance to cross it. Now the shot! It looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact. That's just instinct, but that is top defending. Fletcher. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw whether... Well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half-time at 1-1. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Can put them in front here, which he does. Well, I think they deserve that, Martin. They've had so much of the ball last five minutes. Well, how will Middlesbrough cope now? They're trailing. Going forward with real purpose now. This could be a chance. And that's the goal that's brought them level. But it's a good goal. And look at the celebrations. All of a sudden they feel they're in with a good shout here. Two teams brilliantly matched in this contest. It's level again. Coming up for you on EA Sports very soon, the EFL Cup fixture. Middlesbrough, and they'll be hosting Norwich City. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking. They could be in behind the back line. Can finish it off. Well, they got away with it in the end. It's Johnny. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Well, we've got a goal to tell you about Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Arsenal, 54 minutes playing, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from... Takes the shot off. The shot gets blocked. Tried to get the right contact there, but couldn't quite manage it. Yeah, he's ended up looking a little bit silly, but uh, if you don't try those things, you're never going to succeed, are you? Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Quick reminder of the next game for the visiting team in the Premier League is this. Join us on EA Sports. 
on the attack here. And now Wolves in possession. Nice interplay between the two of them. With his skill. Jimenez! It flew into the top corner. And Middlesbrough restarting the game. Saw the direction of the pass. Untidy work. Still 20 minutes to go. Joao Plata. Then Donker. Jean Moutinho. Ivan Rakitic. One to chase down. He's gone over the defenders. One on one with the keeper. Well, it's a penalty. And the referees added to their problems. Yeah, lost the composure, haven't they? It's been a poor day and it's only going to get worse here. It's a yellow card for the offender and it's undoubtedly a penalty. But it's a great chance for this side to stick one in the net. And for that player, he's got to be careful from here on in now. He scored from the spot. Well, he's one of the lads who really wants to take on this responsibility and it showed. Yeah, I think some people are cut out for it, some aren't. This lad certainly is. Prospect of even more goals, 4-2 is the score. And the away team want to... Cleverly done. He's in. And he scored! Oh, it's great action this for us, Alan, isn't it, from the neutral point of view? to come back straight away, virtually from the kickoff, and score themselves. Yeah, it's got an unpredictable feel to it, this match. You never quite know what's going to happen next. Well, this is what we love about football, a goal fest. And we're getting it in this game in abundance. I don't think there was any doubt from the player's point of view. He wanted to join Barcelona. The clubs have agreed the deal is completed. Well, there's been a, an awful lot of talk, and why not? It's about £80 million pounds they've spent on this player. Oh, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans certainly doing the bit to spur it. This might be an opportunity to get level. And it is! I think they deserve that, Martin, putting on so much pressure the last few minutes. Well, coming so late in this match, David might be getting some joy against Goliath here. Two teams brilliantly matched in this contest. It's level again. Opportunity in a wider area. Good challenge. That's cut out. Can really get at the opposition here. Can put them in front here. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Fry. Two minutes left, that's added time. Two minutes of added time. Podenza. Challenge in sharp. Well, that is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. Well, a lot of effort.